The records are now open. Come on, everybody. Let's get down to some healing, some upgrading, some insight, and some wisdom. Welcome to Akashic Answers with Emily. I'm going to plug in. Oh, Kinzel. Here, welcome. You guys just missed me whacking myself in the head with my own triangle. What's up, Marie? Come on in, everybody. Please, as you're getting here, say hello to me. Let me know where you're from. Please take a moment and share this out. And while you guys are doing that, if you are a first timer, I don't see first timers here yet, but if you are a first timer coming in, my name is Emily Harrison. I am the founder and director here inside the Akashic Academy. And in 2015, when I became a certified Akashic Record practitioner, my life completely shifted and changed. It's become my mission to certify others, to teach others all over the world, especially light workers, because the way the Akashic Records allows us to access all information and increase the effectiveness of whatever modalities we're inspired and drawn to explore and use on ourselves and with our clients. Whew. When you open yourself up to the Akashic Records, which is every bit of information ever about everything, past, present, and future, it is a huge cosmic library of information, and it's all recorded from the space of unconditional love and zero judgment from God's perspective. So it's not the same as getting information or processing information as we do here on the planet from this very polar experience. This is from a complete state of neutrality and unconditional love. And when you begin to understand yourself and your gifts and your abilities and the circumstances of your life and your own healing from this perspective, everything, everything changes. And I'm really excited to show you guys how they work today. We are going to give these babies a spin. Here's what's cool about the records. Not only do they bring in the highest levels of wisdom, guidance, and clarity for our life, but they also have their own consciousness. So just being in this frequency has the ability to continue the expansion process, to continue the healing process within us. So when we come into contact with this information, what I'm giving you guys today, these are just little seeds that are going to grow in you if you continue to nourish them and provide deep, deep insight to ways that you can shift your life to that life that you know is possible and you're getting really close at creating. All right, so I'm excited to dive in with you guys today. Again, everybody can ask questions in the space. Not everybody's question is going to be answered in the public forum, but if the message resonates with you, then it is for you, regardless of whether you ask the question or not. Each one of the questions that we address today, I'm going to be bringing in a healing, a transmission, a shift of some kind. And if you want to receive that shift, all you have to do is type yes. I want to share with you guys that just for being in this space, even if you jump in and jump out, there's going to be expansion in your own intuitive life just by being here. Expanding our intuition is so, so important because... Our intuition is what allows us to interact with the majority of the energy that's in the universe. We can only interact, dissect, understand, and participate with the five senses we have with three thousandths of one percent of the energy that's available on the planet. Okay, so of the spec electromagnetic spectrum of energy, humans can perceive 0.003% with their five senses. So we've got to develop this intuition so that we can figure out begin to have relationship with this other energy that's influencing our world. So just so you know, you're going to be expecting a little expansion in your own intuition. Inside the Akashic Academy, inside our membership, we do weekly workshops. Okay, so every single month you have a total of 10 new workshops that are brought to you. I just finished doing intuitive development for our Akashic Academy members. And from now until the end of the year, we're going to be working specifically on rewriting our Akash for manifesting. So any of you guys out there who are not members of the Academy and that is exciting to you, make sure you reach out to me. Send me private messages, please. Let me know that you want to know more about that program and I will be very, very excited and happy to share with you. Okay, so I'm going to tune in here on my 
trusty iPhone so I can read the messages a little better. Time to start firing off your questions, guys. You have questions about anything in your life. Go ahead and ask them. Just so you know, the more open-ended your question is, the better, meaning yes or no questions, mm, not really the best. Time frame questions aren't the best either because time doesn't work the same way here as it does in the etheric realms. But if you really got to ask a time question, go for it because the, you're, you're not going to get a like, oh, that's going to happen in six months for you. But what the records will show you is what aspects of alignment still need to come into play for you to move effortlessly into that new reality, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go, rocking and rolling. Rhonda Turlington McIntyre. I think I'm supposed to be a healer. Anything for me, please, and thank you. Okay, first of all, the hunches that you guys have coming in, the answer to those, or yes. If you have a hunch that you're supposed to be a healer, the hunch, I love the hunch, the hunch is your intuition, the hunch, you know that there's that special energy frequency about a hunch. It's something that's hard to describe with words, but you know you recognize that subtle vibrational energy frequency of the hunch. You guys know what I'm saying? It's different than a piece of information that you read. It's, it has a different essence, energetic quality to it, okay? That hunchiness, that energetic quality, that's your intuition growing. Follow that. I want you to follow, follow, follow that. I'll call it a green brick road because green is that healing energy instead of the yellow brick road. Follow that green brick road. Here's how we go about stepping into our energetic abilities as healers. Okay, first of all, if you have a hunch that you're a healer, you are, you are here to heal, starting with yourself and your own experience. You got to heal your thoughts. You got to heal your emotions. You got to heal your body. You got to heal your relationships. So if you were feeling called to be a healer right now, I want you to check out if you were called to being a healer, like Rhonda Turlington McIntyre. And by the way, Rhonda, anybody else who out there who's feeling that hunch, I'm just, I'm going to send just a little extra transmission for you right now, holding that space for this to continue to unfold for you. Okay. If you're feeling the hunch that you're supposed to be a healer, but you're not exactly sure what that process looks like, let me tell you like the formula, the structure, it's going to be individual for each one of you, but here are the things that you want to look for that are going to help you along that path. We heal others by moving through that experience ourselves. So you're going to look at what aspect of my life needs healing right now. And, you know, healing, interesting word, anything that is not um, fully aligning to the highest good and potential in your life needs a little bit of healing. Just so we're all using the same vocabulary. So you look at what area of your life and you're like, what area of my life do I need healing right now? Is it my relationships? Am I not in the right job? Am I really, truly sad? I'm trying to be happy. That was me. I wasn't necessarily in the wrong job. I was an actress before I did this. I spent 21 years in Hollywood. However, that outlet wasn't allowing the maximum amount of creativity to be expressed in the highest good for me, although there are a lot of things that really uh, grew me in that. And so I took all the essences of the magic of how story expands us and the ability to relax and let a character come through me in a way that like I could set myself aside and I could reach higher levels of imagination. And by the way, imagination is direct connection to source energy. It is not something that is made up just so you know. And I was able to take those and, and like it shifted after I got down to business to knowing myself more. But that was an area of my life, and I know a lot of people, as we are shifting from the 3D and emerging into the 5D, career alignment's big for a lot of you guys, all right? Maybe if you're a light worker, by the way, and many of us light workers, we've taken our vows of poverty, we've done all kinds of things that have just totally jacked up our <laughs> abundance and prosperity. If you're a light worker and you're not in that flow of, of helping others and abundance and prosperity and you want to be there, that needs healing. That needs adjusting for you. So when you go through the process of, of seeing what needs adjusting for you 
and then you go about adjusting it, you inherit that ability to help somebody else do the same thing. You help them heal that area of their life. And from a higher perspective, you have engaged in a soul contract agreement to move through all of these things at a certain time, collectively intertwining and helping everybody here along the way. So you're right where you need to be along your journey, so long as you're continuing to follow those breadcrumbs. And your life tells, excuse me, tells you <coughs> hmm, exactly what it is where you need to work. Okay? Your passion, your creativity married with what's actually showing up in your life that you can work with and adjust and heal right now. Maybe you've walked through a physical healing or transformation in your life. Maybe you're doing that right now. I want you to, for those of you guys who are feeling called to be healers, I want you to make your experience more dynamic by recognizing, oh, as I go through this process, I am sharpening my skills as a healer and I'm activating my ability to help others move through this as well. So those of you guys out there, if you're feeling called to be a healer, one, that is true, true story. Allow your hunch to be an inspired energy that gets you going. Second, all you gotta do is to develop your skills is look at your life and say what needs healing, and then recognize that as you participate in that process, you are expanding your skills and you are anchoring in this journey of really establishing yourself in this highest dimensionality as, as a respected healer here on the planet. Okay, so anybody who would like to receive this energy, let me see exactly what, this, what, the, what the vocabulary with this transmission is. This is a big one coming in. This is like a this is like a blueprint alignment. Okay? Anybody out there who's feeling called to be a healer right now, if you want to say yes to receive this, they're they're going to they're doing an alignment of the energy field that allows the magnetic frequencies and the energies, the healing energies from Mother Earth, create a specific energetic vortex around you that is going to um, illuminate and activate the healer aspects of your blueprint. That's just what that's saying. <laughs> All right. So if you want this, you can say yes. They're starting. They're working down the right side of the body. I'm working down the left side of the body. I'm working up the center. On the back. This is an interesting one. It's what it is they're doing. It, it feels like they're anchoring in almost like spotlights on all the corners to hold our energy field for that illumination of that healing blueprint. Okay. Lots of energy moving in the third eye right now. Everybody focus on the third eye. Give your finger a lick and put it and like wet your whistle. Wet your third eye. Feel how your attention naturally goes to that coolness as the air moves. Just want us to hold attention on the third eye. They're making big adjustments on the third eye right now to make the messages, the, that intuition that we talked about. Third eye is the center of where we send and receive those intuitive messages. So they're adjusting for some clarity there. Good job. So be it and so it is. All righty. Back to questions. Be typing in your questions, everybody. Ooh, Rhonda said she's heating up. Get it, Rhonda. <clears throat> oh. Tara L, you rock. I love you. Tara L is holding space for everybody here for the expansion 
everybody tune in join Tara in that holding that space of expansion for here everyone and everyone connected to us everyone in communion right now Okay, Alicia, Alicia Blenar. Alicia's ready to embark on a new work adventure and wondering if it's supposed to happen for me. Um, again, that hunch that's leading you down this path, you wouldn't be implanted. Everybody listen to me on this one. And Alicia, you too. You would not be implanted with these desires, these passions, these drives, these inspirations, if this was not what was meant for you. These are the signposts. These are the keys that we want to tune into that lead us to our, our highest path. For, for as long as I can remember growing up, though, there's, an in, there's a really interesting dichotomy. Like we're told we can, you can be anything you want to be. What do you, from, a, from the time that we're little. But then the closer you get to start having to go out in the world and make your own money and pay your own bills, people are like, damn, what can you do to make money? So we're experiencing that the polar nature of this planet, really, it's, it's, it's woven into so almost every damn aspect of how we show up here. We're experiencing this push and pull of moving the direction of your dreams. Oh, shit, you can't make money doing that. Oh, but you better. Okay. So we're, we're, first of all, I want everybody to recognize if you are participating in this experience in a similar way that Alicia is, you're feeling that pull and that drive to do something different. You are part of the collective shift that will allow a different experience for generations in the future. So first of all, I want you to honor the bigger picture that as you're showing up in this avatar doing the work, you're shifting the ancestral lineage for the entire planet. And light workers, we are all in a lineage together regardless of what modality you do. It doesn't matter what modality you do. We are all brothers and sisters here in the space of the light. When we show up more dynamically and create space to learn about our skills, to continue to share, to move past our boundaries, we're supporting the light workers of the future to do the same thing even more powerfully. So recognize how your struggles are presenting themselves to you right now. You're participating in a bigger structure. Oh, I got like, I got talking too happy and then Bluey came in. Blue dog is here. Blue, don't knock anything over, please. Okay, I'm going to let him stay. Let's, I love what, uh, I love that pause for space holding that we did. Let's just pause. Let's hold space right now. And, uh, and <laughs> you want to hold space too? And let's just create expansion with our breath for everybody who is on that magical path of shifting your work and recreating yourself in this passionate expression pursuit of yourself. I, I did it. That was one of one thing in my life that I've accomplished that I'm super duper proud of. I look at it and I'm like, my job rocks and I freaking made it up. If you are in this frequency right now, I want you to know that that underlying frequency of making that shift in transition is, the, it is built into this broadcast. It's built into me. It's built into the Akashic Academy. And the law of association says that when you hang out with other people, the law of association says when you lay down with dogs, you get fleas. But in a nicer way. All right? I'm going to shoo some of my fleas off on you guys. Bluey, let's shoo some fleas off on them. You can do this. I'm proud of you, Alicia. I'm proud of you. The world needs what you have to share. And every single one of you out there, the... yes, we have all of this really, really amazing um, knowledge that's coming through. The more we advance our intuitive gifts, skills, and abilities, the more of this knowledge we have the ability to pull to access. But this is just step one. What happens is that we take that knowledge and we move it and apply it. Like I said, figure out how you use it to make a shift in your own life. And what happens is right now I'm finding we're, do, we're doing a little iron chefing in our spiritual kitchens. 
we're taking pieces of this that we know of Reiki, and we're taking pieces of this that we know from quantum theta healing, and we take pieces that we know from this kind of meditation, and we use elements in a way inside of our body that gets us amazing results, and guess what? That's what it's supposed to be. We're supposed to experience this, put the pieces together, and then share with each other. People, we are on the forefront of bringing in, constantly bringing in new information and, and, and utilizing it in a way that's shifting us powerfully. But it requires each one of us showing up and participating in our own experience and allowing the unfolding to happen. All right, so any of you guys who would like to receive that energy that's going to support that career transition for you, say yes. Who says yes? Down, baby. Oh, good down. My buff is stinky. Hey, by the way, all of you guys who said yes to that last one of shifting your career. I'm going to come invite you to the event Coach Nick and I are doing. We have just a hell of a three-day online retreat coming up, December 14th to the 16th. It's a spiritual business retreat. Coach Nick's laying down all of the formula structures, blueprints for business, regardless of what yours is. And I'm bringing in the Akashic Records. We're going to do activations, meditations, so that you have access to higher level of information, knowledge, energetic support as you're going through this, so that you can get clarity on what it is for you. Whew, I'm super excited about this. So just be expecting. I wasn't planning on baiting you with that one, but I did. And feel free if it's not the right opportunity. That's okay. I trust your intuition to keep you exactly where you need to be right when you need to be there. All right, I'm going in for one more question today. Sarah Chitwood says, what are the best crystals for healing yourself? Just got out of an eight-year relationship and trying to find myself again. Woo, doggy, things are shifting in life. Sarah, thank you for sharing the big transition that you're making. Eight years is a long time to be completely intertwined and connected. And that uh, reestablishment of who you are and the, and almost, okay, they're saying this. They're saying don't necessarily focus on like reestablishing who you are. But instead, and, and that might have, I can't remember the specific question. I'm going to go back and see. Yeah, I use that word reestablishing. You didn't use that word reestablishing. But they don't want you to use it anyway. Because they don't want you to bring all of the aspects of who you were before into the new. They want you to create something new from this point. They want you to really recognize that this is, uh, this is a, a recreation, a cre a, a, an opportunity for you to create whatever you want for yourself. Um, I know I have lots of uh, crystal junkies out here. You guys, I would love it if everybody, let's make this a community participation. Everybody share what your favorite crystals are for healing. There are no right or wrong rules. I can tell you that crystal quartz, a clear crystal quartz is known as the master healer. This uh, right here is made out of crystal quartz, my pyramid, and that'll be the activation we do. I'll play a crystal quartz healing pyramid for everybody. Um, so those are great for using as a master healer. I also like to meditate and put crystals directly on points of my body. Um, you can use them in combination with each other. So a crystal quartz, a master healer, can be used in combination with other energy stones. Now, anything that is green or rose in color or that pinkish in color are going to be really, really powerful for healing. Here's what I'm really excited about telling you to do, though. Start talking to the crystals. Use this as an opportunity to build your intuition and build your relationship, build your knowing. you got to trust what you get. All right, so I've got, I got lots of like selenite bricks and wands here. You can talk to it. You can feel into it. You can just kind of do whatever, whatever you feel. Like literally, guys, when I was first learning how to play with my own energies, I gave myself permission to act like Tom Cruise in Minority Report where he put those gloves on and he was like this and this and he's moving shit. That's what I did. I just walked behind people, moving their shit. Ask people's higher self. 
But here's the thing, for the purpose of your own learning, you, you got to just give yourself permission to get to just do it. Don't edit yourself. Stop editing ourselves so much. Okay? That's a huge area where we stand in our way is that we really begin to edit ourselves through the process. So, crystals, use this opportunity, Sarah, to step very dynamically into the high priestess essence that is beckoning you, they're saying. Okay? Crystals have Akashic Records just like anything does. Actually, I use crystals in uh, the program when I teach others how to read the Akashic Records. We work with crystals. It's really important that you learn to have that interaction with crystals because the crystal, this is living consciousness. There's energy stored in here. There's knowledge stored in here. There are things that can help you in here. But you got to speak crystal. But speaking crystal doesn't look like, hello, crystal, how are you? I'm doing good. It looks more like this. What's that you say? Here's the other thing. Allowing yourself that freedom to play more in your life is huge. Please, let me give you the permission to be a damn goof in your life. You don't have to be perfect. Just be authentic. And the more you play and the more you have fun, the more these skills are going to open up to you because they're directly connected to how much you're willing to play. Okay, I'm going to do a real. So anybody out there who is interested in crystals, and if you would like to receive an attunement that helps you speak crystal, what they're saying, in whatever way, that, in whatever way that's going to resonate for you, basically what we're doing is we're upgrading our ability and our, um, our trust factors with being able to just intuitively grab what I, and say, where do you need to go and what are you doing for me? And trusting what we're getting. The cool thing about this is that, and the reason why what I recognize really helped me in learning to play with my energies is there's, it, it wasn't result oriented. Like I couldn't go back to the people and say, hey, I know you didn't know that I was walking behind you the other day and I moved that thing from your lower back, but what do you, how are you feeling about it? There, see, there's, there's, there's no reason to, there's no need to test ourselves in it. We're just playing. So just play with your crystals and, and then just notice where you're kind of feeling better. Anybody who would like to speak more dynamic crystal, go ahead and say yes and just receive this attunement coming from this master healer, the crystal clear quartz. They're actually inviting me to play. Okay, sorry. Keep saying yes to receive. I just want you guys to know different parts of this are calibrated and make different, different noises. So in order to really increase the multidimensional quality to this, they want me to play all the sides. So as we're receiving this, we're winding down on our time. I gotta try to hit just the corner, and this is like a this is like a circus game. I did it. Okay, receiving that. Beautiful. Just allowing that energy to wash over you. I'm going to share with you guys, Robin McClendon is coming up next, Conversations with Gaia, and then it just keeps rolling out for the couple more shows after that. Then Robin and Bogey get together, and then it's just Bogey. So stay tuned for all of those amazing shows. Thank you guys for being here with me again. This is just the, the tip of the iceberg of how the Akashic Records can really begin to unfold more dynamic understanding for you. And again, this is something that is learned. It's learnable. Growing your psychic skills, growing your intuition, these are skills that we can learn how to do. And if you're interested in knowing how to do that, I uh, am a honored and proud and happy teacher. I love doing what I do because seeing you guys transform and step into your multidimensional gifts and skills and abilities, Lights out. So fun. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Anybody needs anything um, from me, if you need to talk to me, you want to say hello, thank you for all the comments that you leave here. Send me another private message because I get those faster. Love you guys.